and welcome to the eighth ever podcast. This summer is pretty much over, and this month we're going back to work. We'll also go to London to meet a hardworking Briton who calls herself Hotel Foxtrot. And of course, we'll give you a chance to win $50 in site credit and one of these limited edition Pond 5 coffee mugs in our pond test. So roll up your success sleeves, punch your confidence clock, it's time to get down to business in this month's podcast. Work is an activity that you do regularly in order to earn money or experience. In fact, over 3 billion of us are participating in this exchange every day across the globe. That's 3 billion managers, consultants, CEOs, interns, foremen, salespeople, government workers, supervisors, and who knows how many Debbies in HR. Yeah. Hey Debbie, I see you there. The average person spends around 10 years of their life working. It's almost 90,000 hours spent collating, colliding, collecting, collapsing, or collaborating with your colleagues. You know, it doesn't really seem like that much time if you consider we spend about 230 hours sleeping, and that's way more when you factor in sleeping on the job. Hey, wake up, quit slacking over there. Think about volunteer workers. There are roughly 140 million people working as volunteers worldwide each year. That means that if volunteers were a country, it would be the 10th most populated country in the world. And it would be populated mostly by women, because 28% of us women volunteer at least one time each month, compared to 23% of men. Hey, I take offense to that. I would happily volunteer to remove unwanted beers from your refrigerator or pizza from your oven if the need ever presented itself. But I guess it's actually beneficial for me to volunteer more considering 94% of employees who volunteer to learn new skills benefit either by getting their first job, improving their salary, or being promoted. You can sign me up. Wait, I just talked myself out of a job upon five? Hey, why don't we both sign up for watching this month's infomercial? Roll it! Interns, they're a real drain on your office. Sure, they may be cheap, young, and optimistic, and they may do the work no one else wants to do, but they are still so needy. They have to stop for things like eating, sleeping, and interacting socially with friends in their downtime. But what if you could subtract these things and add to your bottom line? Then you'd have Pawns Automaturns. Replace your human interns with our robotic counterparts and start the workplace of tomorrow today. For a free 30-day trial, call our number and receive your Pawn Automaturn starter kit. Unpack your new coworker, punch in the temporary access code, And voila, you're ready to give your new metal member a menial mission. And if you don't like it, you can pack it up and send it back, as long as you can lift the package. Pawns Automaturns, call now. There are a lot of hardworking media makers at Pond 5, and Helen Fields, aka Hotel Foxtrot, is one of them. Let's go to England and meet this wonderful artist. My name's Helen Fields, otherwise known as Hotel Foxtrot, and I'm based in Hampshire in England. I started producing footage for Pond 5, having spent years making corporate films. The stock is the backbone of what we do, and the other areas are really offshoots of that. The standards we apply when we're producing stock have always been, and will always be, exactly the same as producing films for a high-end corporate, or for a television advert, or for a cinema advert, and that is to say that because it's stock footage, there's no excuse to produce it to any lower standard. Head on down to the description box to watch the entire video, or you can click over here, or here, or here, or here, or here, or here. It's time for the pawn test. Last month's Pond 5 mystery box winner was Cacti2, who guessed the mystery box contents correctly, which was... Whoopah! <laughs> this month's Pond test is really easy. 
All you have to do is post a link to your favorite working clip from the Pond5 collection into our comments below. That's it. We'll pick our favorite and send you $50 in Pond5 credit and one of these limited edition Pond5 coffee mugs. We will see you next month in a very special episode of the podcast. Of course, you can always follow, like, share, and subscribe, and all that amazingness by clicking on the links below. You can also find everything we used to make this episode in a collection on Pond5. You'll even find this. Or this. Or this. We'll say au revoir with this pontage of working clips from our collection. Pond bon Voyage! My surfer bro impression. <laughs> go down to Rincon. After you surf Rincon, you go to C Street. Do you know where to go from C Street? Liberty Park. <laughs> <laughs> That's not what I was thinking. I was thinking Spencer McKenzie's. What size board are you surfing? 6'5, man. What's uh, the shape? It's a pointy one. It's got a point in the front. <laughs> <laughs>